Hey everybody, welcome back to Goo TV Presents, streaming the Insanity XCOM Enemy Within Virgin series, where you see me see the content for the very first time. Picking up our classic Iron Man gameplay, uh, we are coming in on the very tail end of this game. Uh, there's one thing that I want to get going, but otherwise this episode is largely going to be another scripted council mission. Ah, only two days away from the Psy Armor. That's exciting. Uh, really, all I wanted to do before... Huh, do I do it here? Because it's Psy Labs. Yes. Uh, I wanted to see if any of those new... Uh, wow. Wow. We have lots of assaults. I was going to say I wanted to see if any of those new uh, uh, units were assaults that we could send in to um, potentially get uh, get uh, the gift, so to speak. Uh, and might as well start that while we're at it. Uh, I don't think we have any... We only have one other gifted person, and she... Uh, we've already applied uh, gene mods to. Uh, and that she is a named character. The second one added through Enemy Within content. So uh, I think we're pretty confident that that's where we want her to be. Uh, so good on that and we will be kicking off that mission then because I don't think there's anything else to do right now um, potentially I guess once we have an assault in our midst but uh, yeah enemy within content furies another scripted council mission uh, have not seen it before not really sure what to expect um, I don't think we need two uh, support units so let's see if we can bring up somebody else who is not a colonel um to get us some extra oh we could it might be worthwhile to bring along our second mech trooper now that uh we've bothered to do that uh yay collateral damage Hoo hoorah and we'll give you the mech 2 sentinel with the flamethrower uh which i wish was mech 3 uh paladin i think they're called if i remember correctly but uh not uh not terribly important at this point um uh, I, I don't know what I'm up to now. Brown coat four? I feel bad for not knowing that. Let's take a look. Um, we have a brown coat two. Brown coat one died. Brown coat three. So, yeah, this must be brown coat four. Um, let's get back to her. Where was she? Brown coat McKay. And, yes, brown coat four. I have a name all picked out for an assault that ends up being uh, Jane's replacement, uh, but uh, that'll only really matter if they get gifted, because at this point, I'm only going to bring along uh, people with extra juice, and that seems to be the kind of juice that would be good. I have no idea what to uh, expect from this. Locate and rescue other abductees. Eliminate all opposition. So it sounds like it'll be a fairly straightforward mission. Um, not sure what sort of storyline bits we'll get with it, but I'll obviously include that when, uh, when necessary. Yes, uh, yes, we're gonna run out of the... Strike one needs to approach hmm. that ship <clears throat> According to Annette, the remaining captives are being held in stasis, but the aliens can shut down life support functions at any moment. The system is controlled by a command console. If we can take it out, it'll give us a chance to bring those people home safe. Objectives updated. Okay, so I have to destroy or disarm the command console. It looks like there's no meld on this map. Um, and I do not... Oh, looks like it's kind of... Wow. Looks like I'm in the middle of what appears to be a rectangular map. So, uh, yeah, we will move Big Stumpy Robot out. Uh, good old river. And uh, bring up our Leaf 2... To potentially get a shot on a subsequent turn. Um, I always forget that he has this ability, so because I don't normally take it for snipers. I gave it to him because he was doing my covert actions. So we'll do this to see if we can see anybody. Uh, good enough to see some thin men there. And then, uh, yeah, so we're going to try really hard not to aggro those guys on this turn, which is probably pretty good think that's going to be close enough. Nope. Which means none of my guys will be close enough. Uh, which is good. Because I didn't want them to be anyway. Um, mostly just because that gives us the upper hand on the following turn. 
probably snipe a good number of them without worrying about anything. Uh, or maybe a rocket. Rocket up their rear. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. We should be able to... I was going to say, I think Squad Sight works with that, so we'll just uh, cap off a couple of these guys with them unsuspecting. I don't think this... I don't know if this will aggro the other ones. Uh, looks like it will. Oh, so this is actually a UFO map. I didn't realize that. Uh, that's interesting, but uh, our double tap should enable us to shoot at both of these guys. Yep. Uh, is there one that makes more sense from a cover perspective? Yeah, we're going to definitely kill the left one. The uh, reasoning behind that is the other guy can be flanked rather easily. Um, and I don't think Leaf 2 is a colonel yet, so if you can garner a promotion... Oh, no, I guess he is a colonel now. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, this should be a flanking shot. Uh, let's see if we can bring up somebody else who isn't a colonel, like Zoe. Uh, I would think you'll have a shot from here. Uh, the answer is yes, and it is flanking. 92% chance to hit, so that's probably going to be a kill. Yep. <coughs> so now all we need to do is uh, move up a little bit. Hopefully not aggro anybody else. And then uh, we will uh, try to set up all uh, nice again. Maybe throw another battle scanner on a following turn if uh, if need be. Or if can. If I can. I did not realize that this was going to be a UFO mission. That's not a bad thing. It's just not particularly what I expected out of it. Uh, of course, I also wasn't really... Okay, so do I have a timer now? Oh, I do have a timer. That's not cool at all. I would imagine that the console is going to be somewhere near the, the uh, you know, headquarters of the ship, so to speak. Um, we'll just dash our sniper up here because we're going to want him to be in subsequent turns. Uh, move these guys up as aggressively but safely as we can. Should have probably waited to move the sniper now that I think about it. Um, did not know I was going to have a timeline on this one. Actually, we move you up behind here because might as well get the dashes in while I know that I'm safe. I mean, theoretically safe at least. Uh, and then bring up brown coat 4. I don't think this should, I'd be really surprised if this triggers anybody. Yeah, and then just overwatch with you and Zoe we can... Oh, you might as well dash up as well. <coughs> kind of group our units together. Oh. Reinforcements inbound. You mean they don't have enough in the ship itself? That's also kind of a surprise to me, too. Thin Man on Overwatch. Who? Yeah, we are going to get a reaction shot on. And a reaction kill. Right through the head. God, that is such a cool animation, that, that particle cannon. Uh, very slick. Very, very slick. Okay, so we'll move up over here, see if we can see anything inside there. Uh, the answer is no. Which surprises me a little bit, I guess. Um, everybody else is going to pretty much be a dash, I think. So maybe we'll move you up over here to see if you can see anything inside there. Okay, that's a big fat no, too. So, okay, now we're back in the dashing uh, game. Because why not? And then bring you guys up on the dash. <clears throat> I know this probably makes for a super exciting video. You know, hey, we're just going to run up. All right, next turn, okay, we're just going to run up. Next turn, okay, we're just going to run up. And then turn after, Overwatch! Eh, whatever. You're hanging around for some reason. We're 30-some episodes into this now, so uh, I can't probably make too much fun. AO. I don't know what that means. Area of operation? Wow, you are just going to drop a berserker right next to me. That is interesting. We get a couple reaction shots out of it. A couple particle cannons. One of them hit. I have to imagine AO is area of operation. Are you going to move at all? I guess not. So we'll do this the easy way. The easy no ammo way. 
Yes, I would love to punch you in the face, and we'll see this cool animation again. Yeah. <laughs> you are not good enough, buddy. Metal beats flesh. Didn't you see iRobot? Oh, wait. I think flesh won in that case. Whatever. I don't need you ruining my jokes. <sighs> okay. Um, sniper will bring up... Oh, there are guys right around the corner here. Um, let's see if we can get those guys to appear. That is such a cool ability. I, that is an ability that I will take virtually every time I play this game. <clears throat> okay. That's a little bit annoying. 56, 27... Okay, I can only shoot at two of them. Does anybody else have a shot? Specifically my sniper. My sniper does have a shot. 100% shot. Uh, which means all of these guys are dying this turn. I think I have the grenade launcher. Oh, no, I do not have the grenade launcher with this guy. I have the... The, uh... Med kit. Or the restorative mist, or whatever the hell it's called. Let's see if we can get a grenade over there with one of these units. Oh, that's only going to do three damage. That's not enough, Annette. That is not enough, Annette. Can you... No, you can't see anybody anyway. What about, uh... I guess we'll throw an alien grenade then, because that would kill both of these guys. Yes, that's where I want to throw it. Throw it. <laughs> I don't know why my clicks aren't registering. Nice healthy throw. Oh, we've got... We've got more... Thin men up there that do not see me. Um... So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. I guess we overwatch with the people that still can. Uh, and then we'll move up there. Oh, I probably could have pitched a grenade up there, you think, probably, I'm guessing. Uh, definitely can still see those guys. Well, Annette, can you make this happen? Whoa. There we go. That's what we want. Fire in a shredder because it does four damage. Hit Annette. Through the floor for the kill. Alright. Nicely done. You're gonna get a promotion for that? You just three banged thin men. That seems like a promotable offense. Um we'll move Zoe up here. I don't Oh no, the poison can't affect me anyways, because I've got Titan armor. I was gonna say I don't think that's gonna reveal anybody, but she's got good movement and could get back if it did, so. Uh, no big deal on that one. <clears throat> Move River up, and then uh, I'll start bringing all these guys up. And we're all going to move them through the center here, which is probably kind of open to attack, but whatever. Should get a decent number of overwatches yet on this turn, uh, so not such a big deal. Uh, okay, check that. We're going to get two overwatches? I think Zoe got one as well, so that's not nothing. That's not nothing. Wow, are there no enemy units right now? That uh, speedy exit led me to believe that there is no enemy units left. Uh, looks like that is what we're trying to get to. Okay. So I have to description, destroy... If we're going to save the captives, we'll need to either move in to disable the system or destroy it with explosives. Well... I guess the easy thing would be to just pitch a grenade over there. I don't know if we would hit our own guys. Let's do that. Work out there, Commander. We're reading zeros across the board on that device. Looks like you managed to stop the oh, okay. sequence. The odds were against us on this one, and we still managed to pull through. Wow. The three remaining captives have been secured, and if we're lucky, we may just have found some new recruits for XCOM. That seems uh, largely uneventful as a mission. I mean, it was kind of nice that it was different, but, uh, you know, different scripted, but maybe I just played too well? I don't know. It seems kind of weird to say, but I guess it's possible. Didn't take a single shot on that. Got a promotion. That's exciting. Deep pockets. Yay. Extra uses for my items. A uh, bunch of nonsense and some money, and I guess we'll uh, we might as well sell the we nonsense. Have finally found the purpose behind Annette's captivity, and the results are disturbing to say the least. 
It appears that Annette and the other unique captives are capable of amplifying the psionic abilities of others, allowing the aliens to exert mental control over a number of victims simultaneously. Unfortunately, in using Annette to attack XCOM, the resulting stress caused significant trauma to her neural tissue. Okay, she will blah, never blah, have blah. this specific ability again. I don't really care. So there was some stuff that happened there, and Annette, uh, you know, is turns out to be pretty normal. Except for normal in that psionic sort of way. Is there anything left to research? Yay. Does not appear so. So, well, actually, we might as well build Psy Armor. Now that we have it, we can give it to Annette, our only Psy Soldier. Yeah, we have plenty of Illyrium and allies. This is just... Yeah, we've reached the... There is nothing left to do aside from finish the game kind of uh, point. So we'll hook her up with Psy Armor, which looked remarkably like Titan Armor for the gene-modded person. That's kind of deceiving, but hey, now she's got extra Psy goodness. Um, and then we'll just progress some time and see what happens. That's probably... Oh, we we're going to have a terror mission. Haven't had one of those in a while, uh, so that'll be exciting. And this is going to be our first short episode in a while. So with that, I want to thank you for joining us. If you're enjoying this series, definitely give us a like. And if you want to see more XCOM or any of the other series as we're doing, I highly suggest that you also subscribe. With that, I want to thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time.